Hi and welcome to Zoom TV, the show where we explore everything that flies, drives and floats and invite you along for the experience. Well, on today's program, we're going to teach you a little bit about finance thanks to Yes Loans. Could you finance a plane? Yes. Could you finance a boat? Yes, I can. We okay. say yes more often. Well, the Mazda BT50's been out for a while and they had a good crack. It was popular, people were liking it, but the new model, that's going to drive people crazy. On today's program, thanks to Bayswater Mazda, I'll show you the all new BT50 facelift. Big difference, little changes, but big difference. The changes they have made has led to a real great looking vehicle, really tough looking, which is what people are looking for. And if the Juco on your car is looking a little bit faded or even scratched, I've got a revolutionary new product that'll make it look like new. It's called Clear Renew. The hand application process is the new technology. Previously, you would have to go to a paint shop and spend thousands. You don't need to do that. Plus, I'll give you all the goss on our three favourite live events happening around the country involving things at Zoom and introducing you to this week's City Toyota celebrity hitchhiker, Nathan Morgan from Saturday Disney. First car you ever owned? Datsun Shirai, three-cylinder. Classic. It's a red one I used to call it Shazza. So get comfortable because it's time for Zoom TV. Now, Dion, I've got to say, this is my first look at the new shape of the BT50. Big difference, little changes, but big difference. Yeah, absolutely. And they haven't made a huge amount of changes, but the changes they have made has led to a real great looking vehicle, really tough looking, which is what people are looking for. I think it's going to go super well for us. Mm. I think making the creases less obvious and just kind of trying to blend them gives it that real firm kind of masculine look. Yeah, the stance of the BT on the road at the moment looks absolutely fantastic. So they've smoothed everything out a bit, makes it a much tougher looking vehicle. And of course you put some accessories on it, it just looks absolutely fantastic. This is a serious contender against what people are normally buying out there as the workhorse kind of recreational vehicle. What kind of towing capacity does it have now? Yeah, three and a half tonne towing capacity. So a lot of people that buy this sort of vehicle have big boats or horse floats or large caravans to go around Australia in. So the BT can handle all that, no problem at all. And the great thing is with the BT50, it's been around long enough now that you can get some good accessories to just, well, beef it up the way you want. Absolutely, people love adding stuff to these type of vehicle. And most of our customers do. So you can choose from a whole array of bull bars and the like side steps. All sorts of stuff, and people love blinging these things up to give them their own personal, unique look. And how are you finding they've been received? Look, new models just gone absolute gangbusters, so we've got a waiting list on the bigger stuff already. It's only just started to get back out in the market, and we've started promoting it again, so um, look, this will go real well for us. Now, are you ready for the fast three? Absolutely. Okay, what is the warranty on the beast? So the warranty on the BT is two years unlimited kilometres, or if you're not doing so many Ks, it'll stretch out to three years, 100,000. So it's kind of flexible. If you bought it as a tradie, it makes sense. You'd do the 102 years. Bought it as a private person, where well, you're going to get a little bit more time out of it. You'll get a bit more time out of it. And fuel consumption? So the economy, and bearing in mind, this thing weighs just over two tonne. So fuel consumption on this in an automatic, this particular model, is 9.2 litres per 100, and it's a little bit less for the manual. If you're going to be towing 3.5 tonne, you want to have at least two tonne to kind of counteract the balance. Though. Absolutely, yeah, you need a heavy vehicle to tow heavy loads. Final question is, favourite feature? Look, my favourite feature, apart from the brand new look, and it looks fantastic, it would have to be the reverse camera. People these days, they expect to have a reversing camera, you know, in their passenger cars, etc. but not so much in this sort of vehicle. So it's a little bit unique, and it's just a great safety feature. You don't want to be backing out of a driveway and hitting something you shouldn't, or God forbid, a person. Which is great, because it allows it just to get that little bit higher, a little bit beefier, and you feel a lot safer. Much safer. Mate, thanks for your time again. I really like it. Cheers. 
To get yourself into the all-new Mazda BT50, visit our friends at Bayswater Mazda on Guildford Road or head to bayswatermazda.com.au. Remember, driving's better at Bayswater Mazda. Coming up after the break, I put Steve Sell up to the challenge and find out if there's anything he'll say no to. That's next on Zoom TV. This is a ute you should be proud to own. It's a 2004 SS. It's a, it's a beast. But the paintwork on this car makes it look like it's more 20 years old, not 10. And I've got to tell you, I bet you're feeling it too. That makes me so sad. Otto. Yes. This paint here, it's just lost its luster. It it really doesn't look any good. What's going on with it? It's just deteriorated over a period of time. It's just got into a level where it's been buffed and polished and cleaned to the extent it's just dead. Because what they're actually doing when they're polishing the car is they're actually taking layers and layers and layers of the clear off until they get to the factory paint. That's correct. Um, polishing is only temporary. It works for five, six months. But then what happens is you continue to cut back and you're losing that sheen. Now, Otto, what options would you have if you were the owner to bring this car back to an acceptable looking car? There's a couple of options. The cost effective option is let's polish the car again. It's probably a little bit past that. The other option is that you take it to the paint shop, you get the car resprayed. It'll bring it back like new, but it'll be very expensive, thousands of dollars. So Otto, what would you do if this was your car? If this was my car, we have another option. The other option is that we use our new Clear and New product. And that Clear and New product, I think will bring this car back to new. Okay, that sounds like a challenge. I challenge you to bring this car back to new. Happy with the challenge. Done. Accepted. That is, uh, that's what's going on. This is what we were talking about earlier. What's happening here is normally people would cut and polish and try to fill the imperfections in their paint. What we're doing here is we're putting a new clear coat over the top. It fills all of those imperfections and create that true clear coat back on top again. Why haven't they done this before? It's new technology. The hand application process is the new technology. Previously, you would have to go to a paint shop and spend thousands. You don't need to do that. Well, uh, I'm itching to see the rest of this shoot finish, but that blows me away. You're not just meeting the challenge, you're hitting that out of the park, Otto. Fantastic. Vivalon Forever New is a much more cost-effective alternative to repainting your worn-out car. It looks great and protects your paint against UV radiation, corrosive salt air and extreme temperatures. Plus, you'll never have to wax your pride and joy ever again. It doesn't matter if you have a passenger vehicle, motorcycle, trailer, motorhome, tractor or truck. If it needs a facelift, then Clear Renew can help. Avoid the hassle of repainting and save money while you restore it to its original quality with a product that lasts at least 30 times longer than the most expensive wax. Well, they say the proof is in the pudding, but in this case, you'd have to agree the proof is definitely in the paint. This ute, with the help of Clear Renew, has got its raw back. And in a fraction of the time it would take to have it resprayed, and best of all, for a fraction of the cost. I've got to tell you, I'm blown away. Vivalon Forever New will transform your paint job back to looking brand new. It's the best hand-applied wipe-on clear coat available anywhere. Your car is going to love you for it. I love things that fly, drive and float, and I've got to tell you, that's why I love my job. But what I hate is I have to give things back. Mainly, well, because people won't give them to me, and secondly, because I just don't have the money to pay for them. But there is a way I can hang on to more of the things now, and that is because I've got a new friend, Steve Sell from Yes Loans. Now, Steve, my mum always said to me, if you don't have the money, you, well, you can't buy it. Your mum's probably very wise, Aaron, in, that, in one respect. The other is if you want the yeah. most modern technology and the latest yeah. up-to-date and safety-conscious vehicles, we can provide loans for most purposes 
as long as you can show us that you can afford to repay it. Now, Steve, how do I work out what I can actually, I suppose, pay for something when I don't have that in the bank? Well, give us a call. At Yes Loans, we've got access to a wide range of lenders and we'll try and tailor something that suits your circumstances. What about if I was looking to buy a car from a car yard or out from the public? As you would know, well, if someone's selling something, they want it sold as quick as they can, well, it's obviously going to take a long time to get finance sorted out. We can give you an answer within 24 hours. Really? Yes. That's pretty slick, Steve. We've had a lot of things on the show. They fly, they drive, and they float. So I guess I'll start with the obvious questions. Could you finance a plane? Yes. Could you finance a boat? Yes. And you can finance a car? Yes. What about a classic car? We do finance classic cars, Sarah. So even if they're 50 years old? Even if they're 50 years old, depends on the client and obviously they have to be able to be insured and Shannon's is usually the best bet for that. What about if I'm a part-time single parent? Okay, that comes down to the affordability to repay. So it doesn't automatically exclude you, but as long as the income's there to support the loan. It pretty much sounds to me like since I looked into finance, it's come a long way, it's changed, it's evolved. Aaron, Yes Loans has grown over the years and we've got a lot more specialist brokers and a bigger panel of lenders than what we've had in the past. I guess from here, my question would be, where would I start? Start with a call to Yes Loans or apply online at yesloans.com.au. Now, Steve, I'll tell you what, I want you to stick around for a little bit because your name says Yes Loans and I want to find something that you say no to. Is that a challenge, Aaron? Well, it kind of is, but I'm giving you one out if you want it. No, I'll take the challenge. Take the challenge and step into my jungle. That's what I'm saying to you. Ah, got it. What about a go-go mobile? Absolutely. Classic car. Yeah, they are. They are, Steve. Well done. After the break, I'm going to tell you what's going on with live events thanks to United Fuel Injection, which are events involving things that fly, drive and float happening around Australia. And later in the show, I'm going to get Steve to say no. If you want to find out if Steve says no to anything, jump onto yesloans.com.au and we'll ask him yourself. If you're passionate about anything that flies, drives or floats, there's no better place to share that passion than attending a live event. After the break, thanks to United Fuel Injection, the only place to get more talk out of your diesel, we look at our favourite three. That's up next on Zoom TV. If you love things that fly, drive or float, there's no better place to share that love than attending a live event. Thanks to United Fuel Injection, the number one place to get more talk out of your diesel, here are our favourite three. Australia's largest all Chrysler drag race, Mopar Sunday, is on this Sunday, the 8th of November, in Willowbank, Queensland. All Chrysler made cars are coming together for a day of extreme racing and an impressive show and shine. If you want to check out some impressive Chryslers or see what your machine's got, you can race it for just $75 by pre booking on the website. Gates open at 7 am at Willowbank Drag Strip in Queensland. Did your love of cars begin with a humble billy cart? If it did, then combine your motoring passion and childhood memories at the classic Yas Motor Show. Celebrate classic motoring heritage with vintage cars, sports models, bikes, military vehicles and all the action from the Billy Cart Derby. If you want to get behind your own Billy Cart and be part of the action, you can do it by registering online. It's all happening this Saturday the 7th of November at Banjo Patterson Park in Yas, New South Wales. And if you're a fan of the panel van, then you can't miss the awesome Victorian state van titles in Scoresby. Presented by the Van Council of Victoria, this event is all about rare and customised vans and panel vans. Yep, you'll definitely be seeing a whole lot of the classic Holden Sandman. If you want to enter your van in for judging, there are great prizes on offer. Or if you just want to spectate, then simply go along and enjoy the barbecue. It all kicks off this Sunday, the 8th of November at the Caribbean Gardens in Scoresby, Victoria. So they were our three favourite live events happening around the country, thanks to United Fuel Injection. Now, if you want to share the love, go to zoomtv.com.au. Do you own something incredible that drives, flies or floats? Then we want to hear about it and maybe even have you on the show. All you have to do is film a short video under two minutes long about your car, your motorbike, your four-wheel drive, your boat or your plane and tell us just what makes it so great. Then upload your video to YouTube and email the link to imazoomaholic at zoomtv.com.au. You and your car could feature on the show all around Australia. 
Plus, if you're the member of a motoring enthusiast club and you've got an event coming up, let us know about it and you never know, we might come along. Earlier in the show, I threw down a challenge, a man challenge to this man that I could find something so unique that he may not be able to finance it. Now, Steve, I've found a steamboat that's almost 30 years old, which was in fact built to transport people in Perth when the America's Cup was here. Could you finance this? Yes, Aaron, even though the motor's 110 years old and a piece of WA history, we could finance it. How is that? How are you able to finance this? We have a, a large panel of lenders that will look at financing assets outside the norm and we'll tailor it to a scenario to suit you. Is it fair to say, say with this particular boat, that you could almost qualify it as a business? Yes, we would. We'd look at the income it was able to produce and present that to a lender. You know, we lend to businesses. Uh, we can lend on existing machinery, plant or equipment. Uh, a lot of finance companies won't do that. A lot of banks won't do that. But we have lenders that will. It's fair to say that most dealerships offer the one make with many different models. Yes. So you're going to get the same kind of thing offered to you in different shapes and sizes, much like, I guess, a bank. Yeah, the bank's limited in what they can do, whereas we have a wide range of lenders that can help most people. The banks don't offer the flexibility that we can. It takes longer to make an appointment. You don't need to make an appointment with us. And we've got people that understand particular scenarios that the bank doesn't have experience or won't finance people in. Steve, is it fair to presume that someone could save money if they make the right choice and probably cost themselves money if they make the wrong one? Absolutely. An example of that is a business with an ATO debt. The bank won't lend them money. ATO's probably had enough of them. We can finance them if they've got assets and save the business and get them going again. If they went to the bank and the bank said, no, a lot of people then go to see a lawyer who advises them to liquidate and they lose everything. Now, Steve, I kick around with a few tradie mates and every time I'm looking at their cars and stuff, I'm going to them, how do you afford that? And they actually look at me and they go, well, it's actually making me money. What does that mean? Aaron, if the asset's used for business use, you can claim the depreciation, the interest content of the loan, even the fuel that you use to drive it can be claimed. So it can actually make money for them. If someone wanted to make an inquiry or just investigate a little bit more, how would they do that? They can call on 94723000 or apply online at yesloans.com.au. I love it, mate. Seriously, thank you very much for coming Thanks, on Aaron. board and supporting Zoom TV and everything else and helping me with what I've got to do. Now, I've got a couple of questions about a loan. Can you help me out? Yes, I can. We okay. say yes more often. Well, you better say yes, i tell you that much. After the break, we catch up with this week's City Toyota Celebrity Hitchhiker. Stick around. There's heaps to come on Zoom TV. <laughs> Whether you're searching for a top quality new or pre-owned vehicle or a factory service with genuine Toyota parts, then City Toyota is your best option. Why? Because they're one of the most awarded Toyota dealers in Australia. And as a five-star customer service dealership, you can be sure the helpful and professional team at City Toyota will always find the right car for you at the right price with the best possible service. To find out more, go to citytoyota.net.au. Welcome back to Zoom TV. I'm now with one of the co-hosts of Saturday Morning Disney, Nathan Morgan. How are you, sir? Good, mate. Good. How are you? Mate, welcome aboard Zoom TV. Now, uh, mate, I'd love to know more about your career. People that host and are involved in kids' shows, they really, well, they inspire me because you, it's a job I've always wanted because you get to be silly every day. It's true. It is true, actually. Like, <laughs> I wake up and it's basically you go into work and then you just think of stuff you want to do. But, like, I might go, like, I want to go to Perth to go surfing. So then we'll organise a story and that's what we do, mate. <laughs> you just yeah. do whatever you yeah, want. Basically. You manipulate children. Yeah. That's what in a way, doing. in a way, in a well, nice way. Manipulating the <laughs> job, that's what you're yes, doing. Yes, for my, for my personal gain of having fun at work. Basically. Okay, well, what I like to do in this segment is teach people how they can become you. Yeah. Um, so if someone was aspiring to do what you do, how did your career start? Well, my career kind of, like back at school, I was dyslexic, so I had a lot of trouble with learning how to read and write and all that sort of stuff. So. What I would say to a lot of kids out there, like school is a big important thing, so work hard, but also just go out there and try out, go to auditions, you know, like you're going to get knocked down a lot, mm -hmm. but that's part of the game, that's the industry, and there might be like 90% of the times you get knocked back, but that one chance gets your foot in the door basically. 
tell me more about your job. So if, with what you do, I mean, with what we all work on TV, mm -hmm. we, we both work on TV. Yeah. People think we only work for three or four minutes, right. but long days. Yeah. Tell me about your day. Like we obviously work on a Saturday, but five days a week as well. We're in the office researching, finding those stories I want to do, like surfing, snowboarding, all that kind of stuff. And then we actually write our own scripts. So we do all that sort of stuff. So then we, you know, it's the fun part of it. You go out and film it, then we get it back. We actually paper edit our own stuff as well. Okay, now it's time for the Fast Five. You ready yeah. for it? Fast Five, okay, cool. Okay, first car you ever owned? Datsun Shirai, three cylinder. Classic. It's a red one, I used to call it Shazza. Classic. What is your opinion of the worst car on the road and why? Probably my car. Now? Yes. <laughs> because I live the, on the northern beaches at the moment and it's a Toyota Hiaz and it's just a rust bucket now. Yeah. But you've got to have one of them, it's like you, you obviously surf. Surfboards in the back. Yeah, that's what you want. Yeah. And it looks cool, just like it. Have a mattress in the back for when I go on the long trips, just sleep and surf. Now, what is your opinion on the best car on the road? Ooh, best car on the road. Oh, it's a, for me, at the moment, I love the Lambos. Yeah, of course. But I'm never going to have enough money. You know, don't say never, you never know what's going to happen. One day. You could be a stunt driver getting famous for rolling If you listen to this Lamborghini, like, <laughs> my name's Nathan. Hosting a kids show, I see you in something like a, like a little fire engine. You could drive around in a little fire engine. <laughs> that would actually You'd be probably go better car. getting a sponsor Or an ice cream truck, maybe. Or, no, or ice cream truck. <laughs> what is your biggest fear? Biggest fear is heights. Really? But what, one thing that happens with our show is they always, like whenever we go to like, yeah, anywhere around the world that has a heights, like something like Melbourne with the Eureka Tower, with the, the edge, whatever it's called. Yep, yep. Yeah, they decide to put me there by myself, or yeah. take me bungee jumping and all that sort of stuff. Good luck with everything and getting your own fire engine. Yeah, and they're Lamborghini guards. <laughs> or a fire engine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're almost done, but before we go, if you want to know anything more from today's show, go to our mobile-friendly website, zoomtv.com.au. And a quick thank you to everybody out there sending in their information to do with their live event. We appreciate it. If you've got a live event coming up, tell us about it. We'll give it a plug. You never know, we might even go along. All you've got to do is go to our website, click on the events page, tell us about the event, give us some video and some pictures. We'll give it a plug. We may even come along. Until next week, bye for now. Thank you for watching. Remember, whatever you do that zooms, make sure you do it safe. And that's a wrap.